Hey. Yeah, I'm here. I was gonna go ahead and take the boat out. And, uh, yeah. I was gonna, yeah, no. I was gonna go ahead and throw the, uh, the jugs. Do what? No, it, today, I thought you said Thursday, 12th. Okay. Okay, well, I'm, if you can't make it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I've done it by myself plenty of times. But, uh, hey. Putting the trot line out. It's the September 12th. Had a cancellation and uh, met a new person. Your name is Amanda. Amanda. She's uh, visiting the area and uh, she was laying out, getting some sun, fishing with a little bitty pole about a foot and a half long. Wasn't getting any bites, so she said she said she'd help me out. So. We're gonna put a line out up the river this time. We're gonna go up farther than we did in the spring. Uh, we're just gonna put one out right now. We're gonna bait uh, with some goldfish and some skipjack and we'll come back tomorrow and uh, check it, see if we're catching anything. It's still pretty hot. Uh, first, we're gonna find a deep spot with a depth finder and look at the bottom and then we'll put the line out. And we have, we threw out five jugs. The first two had uh, goldfish and the other three had chunks of skipjack. So we'll check those after we put this line out. Okay, so we're cruising around this general area that I look, was looking, looking at. And, uh, I think I like this spot right here. One of my number one rules is it always has to be under a big sycamore. I used to say it had to be tied to it, but now that we're using stakes, I changed it. It just has to be underneath. So we're gonna use the depth finder to go across, see if there's any weird structure down there. If not, this is where it's going. <laughs> Amanda has no idea what we're doing, but she is familiar with the channel. We talk, she sort of knew who I was, or it's who Hook, Line, and Chill was. Yes. Okay, so it was not very deep right here. And I've changed my mind, I don't like it. We found it's pretty much all an average of 17 feet up on this stretch, and this is what we're doing. And we're gonna have to do pole posts. Okay, so you hook the line on that, uh -huh. and then you do another one over there. Uh -huh. Like that? Let it, you'll see here in a second. It's gonna start to spin. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I got once, this. Once some of it gets off. This is our first sinker. Uh, went to the middle of the river, dropping it down, and now we're gonna put the, the leaders and the other sinkers on, and then we're gonna bait it. Oh, don't fall out of the boat, though. I ain't gonna fall <laughs> out of the boat. All right. 
now. All right, so. Do I, well, oh, gonna, I get to hold this now? Yeah, you're, we're gonna put later. Well, you told me before, I'm a professional trot liner student. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, only professional trot liners put the first sinker on. Well, I got money now. Yeah. There we go. Sorry. All right, ready? No, yeah, we're gonna go out a few few liters. So okay. Uh, we this thing we're gonna try to put twenty hooks on it, and but I want to make sure we're out in the water pretty good. So I'm gonna say a hook I'm right turning here. Turning your boat though, is that all right? Huh? That one? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. So what you're gonna do? I'm gonna hand it to you. I'm gonna bait it and hand it to you. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to put skipjack on this side of the river, the first 10 hooks, and then we're going to put goldfish on that other side of the river. All right. All right, hold on. Okay. And this so little thing? Stick it through the hole, and okay. then you're going to clip it. See how it's going to clip back into it, so. And there you go. That's Pro. one. All right, and the, first, and the first one I always do hook, sinker, hook. So put a, put a sinker on the very next one. Okay. And so she was uh, in Cromo at a friend's house, sunbathing on the bank. It was. Wonderful day. A great day. Da, da, da. So what do you what do you do for a living? I am a phlebotomist. Phlebotomist. So I'm a vampire. <laughs> you like the blood. Of course, you also like the sun. So I don't know that you're a vampire. I know, right? Kind of contradict myself, didn't I? Yeah. It could be a day walker. Yes. The day like walker. On twilight, a sparkle. <laughs> the day walker. All right, we'll do hook, sinker, hook right here. I feel like I keep having a move or something. Yeah. There well, we go. Okay. No, actually, I'm getting the gist of this. Actually, or is that not right? The line has to. All, it, should, it needs to go this way. Yeah. Just See? so I know I break that rule all the time, but for safety, you're supposed to be on the have it on the outside of the boat. So. Oh, okay. I break the rules every now and then. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's a few reasons, but just for out of, for habit is uh, good. But, like, if there was a fish to, to jerk it, you don't want to you know, be in a pinch point. Or, say, a boat came out of nowhere, or, you know, uh, you, you're able to drop it quickly and it not be... Um, normally, we don't have to drop it with as many sinkers as I use, but... Okay, we're going to put a sinker on the next one. This one? Or yeah. the skip one? No, right, that one. This one, okay. And just clip it on before you put it out in the water. What? Clip it on before you put it out in the water. Is a oh, sorry. Could drop it. I only brought enough. What do you do for fun? Um, I'm an outdoorsy person. So oh. I like to go on hikes. Hacks. Um, I know, sorry. <laughs> you are I from Scotts, yeah. She likes to go on hacks. So I'm allowed like to make fun of it. from King of the Hill. Yeah, what um, else? You like to go on hikes? I do. Uh, I have a goal, actually. What's your goal? Um, by next year, there is the top 15 waterfalls in Kentucky. And I want to go to all of them. So far, I've been to three. But I want to go to the Boone County National Forest and go to them. Boone County? Dog Slaughter Falls is the one. That's my number one I want to go to. What state did you say? Kentucky? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh. I get bored and I'll like look up random top areas all over. I like to go. Well, that sounds cool. As a completely off topic, side note, we're using 9 aught Mustad hooks. I don't know if this camera will hold it. pick it up that close. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than what I have been using, but Mustad kind of runs small. That's number 10. All right. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is drop it. And so usually that's how I do it is I'll start from the bank and work my way out. So we'll start over there and put 10 hooks on every other hook. That way it's kind of symmetrical. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to start whenever we come back and edit or whenever I come back so that I think I'll start over there and end right here okay just do oh, the wait. same thing actually let me let me see how tight it feels I forgot about this long stretch making me bend 
and I'm moving. Look at them. Oh, these are big old things. Well, it's too tight. Right, go ahead and bait it. And... Okay, so first, we'll go ahead and go to the first one here. Hook, sinker, hook. Wait, there ain't nothing on this one. Okay, just go to the next one if there's not. No. What's it? What do you mean? Oh, I forgot to bait it, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were gonna bait it. Who's the professional now? <sighs> you want canna? All right here. Now these goldfish can't fin you that. Pretty much. Can't, oh, can't, don't let it fall. Can't fin you. Come here, you little slippery little sucker. Actually, let me do the first one that way. Yeah. So when I do, I kind of hold it like that, and then I'll just kind of pop a hole and then I pull it. Let me pull the scale off the end. Sorry, little guy. I'm trying to put it over the edge for you. Oh, okay. Keep it over here. We lost, lost a couple last time around. Sorry. And only have exactly 20 hooks. And you don't know how much it would bother me to only put 19 on. Boop. Alright. And then we'll do a sinker. <gasps> what was that? It was the Our fish. fish. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Did he fall off? I don't know. All right, he see. did, yeah. All right. All right. Ready? They can't fin me. Why are they so slippery then? Yeah, you gotta, you just gotta get, a, get a hold of it. Oh, you got it by its head. Yeah. I can't hold it. You hold it and I'll hook it. <laughs> we'll do it as a team. All right. Ready? Well, don't let them die. Come here, you. Mm. All right. My finger's over there too, so. Well, be careful. <laughs> I can't do it, Michael. Did I get him? Yeah. There. There you He's go. tough. Be careful with it. I did it! Alright, I'll do the rest. Yep. And if you're just joining us, you should probably check out the video entitled Green River Purpose. It talks about our little charity thing that we're doing. And some of the general rules is, is I can't be by myself, so I have to bring what I call a point person with me. And they have to help me weigh the fish on camera, catch the fish on camera, and weigh the fish on camera. Uh, I can't use any more than 50 hooks, and it has to be non-traditional methods, which is trot lines, limb lines, jug lines, and other things like that. No poles. And because that's kind of my, my natural style of fishing anyway and originally we were just doing it for the fun of it and we still are but now we got a little bit more of a purpose so if you watch the Green River Purpose the video all the videos that are after that are leading up to this moment so I think that's I think that's episode 26 and beyond And right now we're just fishing. We got this kind of small to medium pieces of bait. Exploratory. Water temperature temperature still in the 80s. But it's supposed to start cooling down soon. And we'll get this line situated. And then we'll probably put a couple of limb lines out on another day. And slowly work ourselves up to 50 hooks total. Including the jugs that we, uh, we use on occasion. Alright, this one's a sinker, right? Yeah. And one trick is whenever you're doing it, just stop, stop every now and then and just chill and let the boat ro rotate back around. There are better ways to do the trot line, I understand. Like, you could do it all from the side. But it's not exactly good to edit or good to uh, videotape. I try to keep the light on the point person. And I try to keep the dialogue going. I know I'm terrible at it, but this is what we got. Ow. In the beginning, I was supposed to just be the camera guy. Yeah? <laughs> I like that you're involved in it, though. You know what I mean? So, but, you know, I've been around long enough to know that, you know, dead, dead air, too long, too much of dead air, you know, no music, or yeah. nobody talking is uh, it's not good. So, and it's actually kind of laziness on my part because I'm the editor. And I know that whenever whenever I'm editing the video and there's dead air, I gotta get rid of it. So the way to get around that is now we're skipping. 
Yeah, never allow there to be dead air. So I'm back here jabbering away just to make sure I don't have to edit as much as I have to. Have to. I only got two more hooks, so I think it's gonna be perfect. It's so pretty right now. This is a good time of day. It really is. It's cooled off a lot too. And we got those jugs to go after. Alright. Sorry, I haven't been unsnapping those for you. Oh, it's okay. I thought you were making me just do more work. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, you are a new girl, and uh, mm -hmm. if you want to, I mean, I think, uh, you know, we got we got four regulars. April, she's not really regular anymore, but she, so she would be number five, but she's planning on coming. So six, I think, would round us out. Especially since we're trying to do a calendar. Oh yeah? <laughs> well. Six would be good because then we could have two of everybody. You think you would do a calendar? Yeah, I'm August because I was born there and it was the hottest time of the year. Yes, I want to be August. You can be August. I don't think anybody's got August tied up. Alright, perfect. I, I got October. Throw in another. You got October. Oh, that's a good one. No. I, uh, I, I didn't think of that one. This is my last two goldfish. Oh, fish. look. <laughs> twins. Speaking of twins, uh, Ashley is actually. A twin? A twin, and she's October. So. That's pretty cool. And she's down for the uh, calendar, which I told her because she's October, she has to. Yeah, do, she would definitely have to. Do a Halloween. Uh, that's it. And that is it. Line drop. And we're going to go check these jugs here in a second with Amanda. Alright, it's going to get dark so hopefully we can actually see them. Gotta go fish. Alright guys, this is Michael with New Girl. Amanda. Amanda. 